Neo4j is a property graph database and therefore follows the property graph model to store and manage its data. Because Neo follows the property graph model, relationships should be directional. In fact, if they're not directional, Neo4j will throw an error. And based on directionality, Neo4j relationships are categorized into two types, unidirectional relationships and bidirectional relationships. In the coming tutorials, we're going to start looking at creating relationships and querying the relationships between the nodes we've already created and some new nodes we're going to be creating. In past tutorials, we looked at creating a whole bunch of nodes, mainly with labels of student and teacher, and even student and teacher. And now in this tutorial, and in future tutorials, we're going to be looking at creating the relationships between those nodes. In fact, the idea is, we're going to create some form of social network between our students and teachers. Traditionally, in relational databases, relationships have been modelled with arbitrary IDs and foreign keys posted into different tables. With a graph database, a relationship is a first-class citizen. What that means is that it's just as valid or it's just as important as a node. So nodes and relationships are the building blocks of your graph database. And relationships should be seen no less important than nodes. In fact, it's the relationships that actually provide the glue and provide the meaning behind the actual data you're modeling. Now, nearly all the concepts and terminology of the cipher language we've learned in the tutorials previously can be applied to relationships. So, for example, relationships don't actually have labels, but they have a type, which is very similar in concept to a label. A relationship can also have properties similar to a node, and you can create and manipulate those properties in exactly the same way as you do a node. So let's start by looking at what a relationship is, and there are two different types of relationship, the unidirectional and the bidirectional. We're going to go over a little bit of theory now, and then in the next tutorial we're going to look at the theory in practice, using the cipher language. OK, so let's kick off with a little bit of theory. First of all, we've got two student nodes here, and in our social network, we actually want to create a relationship between Jack and James. So what type of relationship? Well, we want to type a relationship of friend. So Jack is a friend of James. And we can model that with a relationship. So our new relationship will be of the type friend. In the diagram, you notice that the relationship has an arrow on it. Now this is important because this is actually marking the direction of the relationship. One thing you begin to notice now is that the cipher syntax is very human readable. In fact, it's very easy to pick up and understand the language. And that again is shown here by the syntax used to indicate a relationship, just like this one. And as shown in the diagram here, each relationship contains two nodes, a from node and a to node. As you can see from the diagram, student Jack is the from node and student James is the to node in this particular relationship. Now with respect to nodes, there are two kinds of relationship, an outgoing relationship and an incoming relationship. Now this relationship on the diagram shows that it's an outgoing relationship from Jack, and the same relationship is incoming to James, because it follows the direction of the arrow. Now this relationship is unidirectional, because it only goes in the one direction, the direction of the arrow. Now consider this relationship. Again it's unidirectional, but this time it's travelling from student James to student Jack. And in this scenario, student James is the from node, and student Jack is the to node. So James is the outgoing side of the relationship, and Jack is the incoming side of the relationship. Now consider the next relationship. We've got student Jack is friends with James, and student James is also friends with student Jack. This is what is known as a bidirectional relationship, and these can be modelled using the cipher language on relationships between our nodes. And that's what we'll be doing in the next tutorial. We'll be creating all these different types of relationship and we'll also be adding properties to relationships.